<laughs> Let's do dig life next. Just get it lined up. We'll talk, but just to have dig life. <laughs> you serious, dog? Really? Yes, sir, that's how we doing it. Really man. getting at him like that? <laughs> One hundred three point five. The bomb mixtape Mondays. Locksmith is in the building. That's his song right there. Therapeutic. You know about now, man. Like the bomb lines. I mean. I mean, we gotta answer some of these. Hey, we got going crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man. I love it, brother. I appreciate it, Benny. You know, it's all good. That's what we're here to do, man. For sir. real. This is the hometown. Like you said, Sac is your home. Man, Sac is home, dude. Bay is home. You know what I mean? This like is, this is home, man. This is all this Northern California love, brother. I don't believe Clinton. I don't believe Obama. You came out the gate with that. Uh huh. Why? Well, man, basically, like, like even like for anybody, you know, like you want to get to know me better, of course, go to IamLive.com, but. Basically, it's just giving my personality, letting you know that, like politics, I'm very skeptic. I'm a skeptic. I'm a cynic when it comes to politics, especially because, even though, of course, you know, I'm I'm black. I consider I was I'm half black and I'm half Persian. You know, I've said right. that in records, but I culturally I'm black. I'm an African American. I was raised black. So the symbolism of having a black president, of course, you feel prideful. You feel happy. You you feel joyous. You know what I mean? That you know this is a symbol. This is something new. But the, but the, the realistic side of me is the difference between symbolism and, and reality. Right. The reality is the president, the government, nothing has changed. You understand? Because when you have a black president, that means nothing because the president actually has no power. It's the bureaucrats that have, that have the power. So any president that's in the position, the people that got him elected are the ones that have the power. The face is, it is, is it's irrelevant. Um, when, you think, when you think about um, Obama... You got to think about who got him elected. No, there is no other job or any other, uh, what do you call it, position in the country where you raise more money to get elected for a job that you make less money. You get, you yeah. spend millions of dollars to get elected for a job that you only make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. What sense does that make? So it's a position because people are putting you in a position to pass certain laws, to pass certain things. And of course, I feel good that we have a black president, but you have to understand what's really going on behind that. You know what I mean? So. That's basically saying I'm questioning the system because I believe that the capitalist system that we're in is really is hurting us. I mean, look at we in a recession. We're in a depression. They say it's a recession, but this is a depression. Yep. And it's looking worse. So the power of the presidency actually has no more power anymore. If you look at, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up real quick. No, um, good. go. Um, I listened to one of my homeboys. He does like alternative radio on, uh, on the radio. It's called Alex Jones. He, I don't know if you ever heard of this cat. But he was talking about how the power of politics, how it changed, like, at first, when cities had power, you couldn't get a black mayor. But then the power of the cities was turned over to the states. So then you start getting black mayors. Then when the states start losing power and it was a federal power, then you start getting black governors. Now that the federal government has really no power, it's a global society now. Now we get a black president because the president is just, it's just a figure, man. It's like the Queen of England. It ain't got no power, you know yeah. what I mean? It's just a symbol for people to be like, hey, we feel good, and I feel good, you know, it's, it's something. But when, when the smoke clears, man, we still got the dear reality that racism still exists, mm -hmm. the government is still corrupt, and it's up to us as the people to change that. Just like this music business, man, if we want to change that, we got to change it, you know? But I think, you know, for the first time in my life, uh -huh. I, and, and most people listening, having Obama elected is a milestone, and I think it really has changed a lot of people's perspective on wow my vote does count mm -hmm. and, and I think for a lot of these people it was the very first time they voted uh -huh. um, statistically you know it was shown that it was yeah and I just think that from now on these a lot of the people are going to be interested like you in are politics. And, and yes and, and be more it raises the awareness but and my, eventually hopefully move their way in there exactly and you're completely right about that I agree but all I'm saying is don't be just surface. Don't let's not let's go deeper into just we see what we see on CNN or we see on C you know CSNBC or MSNBC or whatever. Let's go deeper than that because they're just going to give you like when you vote. That's just the popular vote. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. The people that really elect the president is the electoral college. And I'm going of a little course. deep for Mixtape Monday. It's <laughs> good. I, I, you know I, what I, mean? I wasn't going to ask you this. 
I the asked electoral because, college, they're the ones, when you vote on November, that has nothing to do with the decision that the electoral college makes in December. They're the ones that get together and say, okay, you know what? Everybody in the country can vote one way, but if the electoral college says we wants to go this way, that's the way it's going to go. So it was put in place. Like we say, we have a choice. We vote for the president, but what you don't understand, the choice was already made for you before you even went to the vote. <laughs> that's just true. You know what I mean? Hey, look, though, I asked you for a reason. There's not, you know, a lot of these dudes that come in here, I would never ask them a question. I just asked. But <laughs> I know that. Love, I know man. you educated, and I know hey, you and Les. You, you, you guys are educated dudes. Like you said, he's not here. He's in school right now doing this thing. Of course, like, yeah. Shout out to my family left, man. That's my PhD. brother. Man. He's in school, man. And, you know, we just doing it, man. Oh, let me ask you <laughs> something else. What's up? Now, since we on a roll right now, let's talk radio right now, radio, though. Radio, you know what I'm saying? Locksmith in the building. Mixed yeah. eight Mondays. All right. What's up? Um, Oakland. The, the shootings that have taken place. Yeah, Let, yeah. Let's go back to the Oscar Grant. And, yeah, and yeah. Let, let's obviously discuss on what just happened. Was it Friday with the, with the additional shootings? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. What's your feeling on that? What's your thoughts? I, I mean, want to pick your brain on it. Um, my thought is that for a long time now, you know, America as a whole, we've been living in a police state. You know, the police is like it's, they're like a foreign, um, a foreign entity occupying the our land. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? The police, unfortunately, because that's the way they've been trained, that's the way it's been set up, and it's probably going to get worse. Because as times get worse, people are going to be doing more desperate things. So the police are going to have more leeway to act a fool and to be militant. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to get... The, our society, if y'all don't know, our society is changing. It's slowly changing into a whole different society like your America like you think we're free and we have voted the president but we're actually going to be we're losing more liberties as time goes on so it's very important that everybody is aware and that you're aware of what's going on and you look beyond just what you see on the TV because you know the you know the news is they have sponsors and the sponsors control what you see on TV you know what I mean so you got to know that they're just trying to sell you something they're trying to keep you in a certain mind state so you don't know really what's going on so as far as that police stuff man we live in a, this is a military state man the police are occupying that. They are here not to keep peace, but to keep us confined and keep us under control. Because it has in capitalism, there has to be a lower society. It has to be a peasant society. Because somebody got to be at the top and somebody got to be at the bottom. So whenever you're trying to fight up or anything against that, and people, if you treat us like animals, we're going to react like animals. And then they come in and you have stuff like happens on Friday. You know, the brother probably, who knows what was going through his head. I mean, I would, if the police stopped me now, I'd be terrified. Do you? That's what I was going to say. Do I mean, you think in Oakland it's going to get worse, which it has obviously in the past. Man, I, I back always to the seventies or whatever. Is you think it's going to get worse before it gets better? I or pray, man. I'm a spiritual person. I pray it gets better, man. I pray it gets better. Um, even like, like even the stuff we talking about politics. I hope I'm wrong, baby. I, I hope everything I'm saying is wrong. I hope that this is the best country in the world and everything, and I'm just a fool and I'm just a conspiracy theorist. I hope I'm wrong. I pray that I'm wrong, but unfortunately. This is what I see. Shown that you're right. But unfortunately, it's reality to me. You know what I mean? What I see is reality. But I pray, man. I hope it don't get worse, man. I hope people start recognizing that. You know, this is what's going on, man. I, I, I just pray for the best, man. Okay. That's what's up, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an unfortunate thing, though, man. It's, it's jacked up, man. That you got stuff like that. Even like I, I, I hate when any human life is taken away, man. Whether it's a, a brother on the street, a police officer, because I know everybody is working on different sides and they just fighting. You know what I mean? So. Okay, good looking out, man. Locksmith hanging out, 103.5 The Bomb. You are going to get some good entertainment, too. The homie promised a freestyle oh, before right, 10 o'clock. We're going to do that, man. We got the therapy. I got another song for you, too. The, this toss-up one? I got this toss-up, too, man. You okay. know what I mean? You can peep it uh, at iamlock.com. Can they download it or no? Um, yeah, Legally? Yeah. <laughs> can they can they buy it and download it? You can buy it on iTunes. Oh, you can buy it on iTunes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's track number one on the CD. Track number one. Yes, All right, sir. let's get it. Toss let's up. Let's get it, man. 103.5 to bomb locks, man. I appreciate it. Let's get a pop. Appreciate it, brother.